Ladies and gentlemen, this is supposed to be a dinosaur. <laughs> I, yeah, this is just superb. Why? I'll talk about the things I love most about this before I show you the other things that come in this wonderful fake Lego set. The fact is, if you hinge it, God, it gets tail out of the back. Trying to get it into a place where it can stand up is almost impossible because it's so front heavy. I mean, if we just strain it off here, you'll be able to see that the. Uh, this is the pivot point, and the center of mass is somewhere around here. Which means to get it to actually stand up, like, without falling over, you need to get it there, but then the hinges don't last for <laughs> This is the most depressed dinosaur in the world. Oh my god, so one more go, trying to stand out. Come on, one more go. Ooh, actually, she's its tail as a prop. Hey, There we go! There is our... Dinosaur! This is from a, a fake Lego set by Brick by Brick, and it's going to get a bit interesting as we go further on. Uh, I'd like to point out that you get a car with it as well. This is the car! <laughs> I think that's a car. I love how the wheels are attached on this one. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Super high quality fake Lego we got going on here. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, we also have the park entrance. Are you ready? Actually, let's just move the old dinosaur out of the way here. So you <laughs> really just in space. So we can move in the absolutely massive park entrance. You know, it's got the thing that can close. And now the dinosaur will like, boom, and you trip over. It's like a dinosaur tripping over device. Yes, not exactly the greatest Lego set in the world. Should we have a look at the, <laughs> at the minifigures? And I'm gonna zoom in for these. I'm just gonna zoom in on his shin so we can have a beautiful look at this guy. Focus. There it is. You found a face. Well done, camera. A lot to say. They actually got a nose and ears, bizarrely, and their faces are kind of different sizes. Also, all of this was in separate bits. You can see here that the uh, hands sort of pivot and stuff. That's because they are just... Oh, God. If I can pull one out, he's put like... Oh, that one's much looser. The hands are actually just gently popped in these... It's, kind of like it's the only thing on screen. There we go. Yeah, the arms are just like a little ball joint thing that pops in there. This one pops in very easily. Ow, machines. The other one pops in very difficult. And you had to put the arm bits in as well, separately. And the legs are individual legs that you had to place in. You can see they're wonky because of where I had to install them. You have to put that bit on and then put them on there. These came in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bits for him. So that's what's his face. We also have his friend. Now his friend is a semi-nudist. There's the uh, back of him. Yes, it's the same man but with a moustache. Let's zoom out a bit so you can see all of his glory. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What I love most about this guy is they're like, wow, you want one, Alan, because his name's Alan. You actually get two for the price of one. I don't know why they're nude. They just, their the back is exactly the same color as their skin, which I find very, very strange. And they have the same weird hands that pivot and go strange. But yeah, that's what you get for your, steady on, that's what you get for your, what is it, the box? $3.99. The instructions are nice and simple. Actually not too... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's talk about the build quality. Shocking. Uh, shocking because some of it was actually very good. There are a few connections that are actually really, really nice. They hold together really nicely and they feel really good. However, some of them are just awful. And sometimes it's the same sort of thing. So if we just... Sorry, I'm going to have to destroy this. Oh, the illusion. Let's just pull... A bit off there, and that bit off here. These bits... I don't know why, there was all of ones, I didn't know anything else. These bits are supposed to tick round, and I like I said, these sort of tick into places. And you can feel they sort of try and tick. Oh, up here they tick! See, they only jump into bits, and then here it's just loose as shit. And on this one... Oh, see, this one actually works! That ticks for other things. This one is just... nothing. Just absolute twiddle. Twiddling twaddle in the middle, which means that the, the model doesn't stand up properly. Also, the hinges on here, just this one's really, really super loose, and this one's actually quite tight. So, yeah, quality is all over the place. <laughs> Looks like they've actually just shot and killed the dinosaur. Anyway, let's move all that back to the start and have a very quick jump cut so I can show you the box. 
and the conspiracy. Before we get onto the box, these are the instructions. So if you want to build this at home and you've got the Lego bits, which you probably don't, you can see up here actually, if you have a camera size to focus on, these are their arm joints and then their hands. And the heads have weird, they're shaped like buckets for some reason. There's this color that never actually was on any of the models. It was just a darker gray. And then there's sort of the instruction pins. This one being my absolute favorite of how not to demonstrate something. That, that, that to me looks like I'm gonna have to do some anti-chamber style shit to make that work, but oh well. And then on the other side, there's how to build the rest of that tap. Look, it took a very long time because of this bit, because these things are really painful to put in. Those arm joints into the arms actually cost blood. Blood. Anyway, would you like to see the box? Actually, before we see the box, you may have looked at this and gone, haven't you done that before? I remember that. Well, that means you're a subscriber to Ashens. Ashens covered Dinosaur Island, which is what this is called, uh, by Blocktech before. And I will link it in the description. Um, the thing is, this isn't Dinosaur Island by Blocktech. This is Dinosaur Island by Brick by Brick, who I've never, ever, ever heard of before. Now, in Ashens' one, there was only the dinosaur and it was less blocks and they had the character names and the, this design up here was flipped. This was identical. I think what I found here is a knockoff of knockoff Lego. This is knockoff squared. Because it is actually very much a different model. Like Ashens' one has a, like a hinged mouth that's much bigger and open and this is just a different thing made by a different company which I finding, oh, and his minifigs came built in the background, was it? His came built, mine were in bits. And I found that very, very strange. Whoop, whoop, quick look on the back, look. Oh, you get, I do like that it says you get uh, uh, three characters included of these two guys because you get two of Alan, two of Alan. He was called Alan on the other one as well. So I don't know if this is like another one they've done, but it's a different, it's a different company. It's brick by brick, not block tech. Which I find very weird. And it's a different style of design, which is still called <laughs> T-Rex, apparently. Yeah. It's it's a worse design. The Lego doesn't feel like that doesn't feel like Block Tech fake Lego. Like Block Tech is is bad. That felt that felt like a level up, but like the design is way worse. It's very confusing. And then, literally as I was changing the camera, I found something that makes this even more interesting. Block Tech playset. So this might actually be Block Tech, but it's different. And it says it's made by brick by brick. So they may just be Block Tech. Has Block Tech shut down? I don't know. Is there a date on this thing, thinking about it? Uh, no, probably not. Can't see a date of any sort on it. Yeah, it's it's a really weird thing. I'm just, it's a brownie. Yeah, made in Liverpool, which would explain lots of things. But yeah. It's uh, really horrible, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but it may be the first example I've ever seen of a knockoff knockoff. And for that, I give it thanks. And then throw it straight into the bin.